There are lots of reasons you might not want to be a vampire, but the worst part might be the diet. Almost as soon as you sit down to a meal, the problems with feeding on blood begin. Within minutes, your victim's blood will start clotting to prevent them from bleeding out, which will end your feast. If you do manage to keep the blood flowing, you face another potential problem. Your victim's immune system is constantly patrolling for unknown substances. So the longer you feed, dribbling saliva into your victim along the way, the more likely it is that these scouts will come across your saliva and flag it as foreign. The resulting immune response could make your dinner unappetizing or make your victim uncomfortable enough to dislodge you. But an even more immediate problem is the ridiculous quantity of blood you'll have to consume. Because while blood does contain nutritious stuff, it's mostly water. So you'll need to ingest a lot of it, like many times your own weight. Ugh. Instead of thinking about vampires as monsters, maybe we should think of them as misunderstood critters trying to navigate a bloody difficult way of life.